a Lou Holtz was interviewing Lou Holtz. Yes. And uh, I wonder how he felt when he found out about that, AJ. Have you maybe sent a message or asked about that entire thing? We would love to have Ryan Day on the program. Yes. And we would love to apologize for our part of however this miscommunication could have taken place. But do you think he knows that at this point? And what do you think his thoughts are? I, I'm really curious, honestly, what he does know at this point. So Sunday morning, he was at his daughter's AAU basketball game, and I, I came to the gym right as he was leaving, I guess, and a lot of people are like, oh, Ryan Day was here watching his daughter play. I didn't get a chance to watch him, but it was just however many hours removed from the big victory, and I think people were pretty excited when he walked in the gym, though. Yeah, he's a hero. He got a good pop. Yeah. Oh, Did yeah. you hear what I told that 86-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Did you hear me? I supposed to wear him? I supposed to wear him? He was so bad. He was motivating the hell out of the boys, though. I appreciate a coach using anything uh -huh. for motivation to galvanize and rally a group. And have you seen the stuff coming out of Oregon post this Colorado game about Dan Lanning, the more messages that we're seeing from team meetings leading up to that game, mm -hmm. let alone the pregame speech, and then what Colorado was doing yeah, on the field beforehand? I don't think I saw the entire documentary from well-off media, Deion Sanders Jr., who makes an appearance in Oregon's thing. Mm -hmm. Oregon made sure to get a shot of Deion Sanders Jr. and put him in that video. Shiloh Sanders is telling this Oregon mm. team, I'm going to beat the shit out of all y'all and your coach. I'm going to fight all. He basically said, I will beat every one of you up and then your coach straight to him. And then he's yelling at him again. And then somebody said, I'd like to report a murder of a ducks that are happening. And then there's some white doing this yep. all over yeah. the, or, the O. And then Coach Lanning says, does that O mean anything to you? Like everything that Colorado <laughs> was able to use the first two weeks mm -hmm. with the offensive coordinator at TCU, was formerly at Ohio or at Florida State, didn't give Shador the time of day. Then Matt Rule in Nebraska stepping on uh, the buff. And then what Matt Rule said about the team. Like everything that they they used the first two weeks going against uh, without their best player on both sides of the ball, Travis Hunter, going against the best team that they have certainly faced this season. They just gave them everything that they potentially needed. And boy, that win had to feel good for the Oregon Ducks. Yeah. I couldn't even imagine how Dan Lanning felt after that, smoking his cigar yeah. in that locker room going, this is how it's supposed to work. Mm -hmm. They had to feel so good, A.J. Hawk. I think they felt pretty darn good early in that game when they kind of jumped on them early and you saw them like just continue to keep their foot on the on the gas going into halftime. Like you knew, hey, these guys feel like, hey, this was our plan. We're executing our plan. They're going to try to figure it out for all four quarters. But, I mean, for Colorado, what, they have USC this week? Mm -hmm. When when they're coming up? I mean, this, this it, it road does not get any easier for them, but they can still find a way to – to get some big time wins and still get back on the map. I'm still a believer in Coach Prime in yeah. Colorado. Okay. Yeah. I'm not saying that I am not, but I didn't expect to see the stuff that I saw in the Oregon video of the Colorado team just right. basically giving them like all the ammunition you could potentially want. Because I didn't know that Oregon, you know, is pushing as heavily as they are for Bo Nix to win a Heisman. Mm -hmm. They got like a full Bo Nix's Heisman. This campaign. is Bodacious, I believe, is mm -hmm. the campaign. They got like uh they got billboards, I think, at Times Square and, like, yeah. all over. Yes, I'm being serious right now. This is real talk. And then in the video, the little hype video that they released called Ducks vs. Them was the series. I assume this is going to go all season. You hear him say a couple of times in there, legitimate Heisman yep. candidate Bo Nix. Like, they're selling, like, hey, this guy is the Heisman candidate. So thinking about how everybody, was, including me, was talking about Shador Sanders. Yeah. But this guy's my Heisman. Yeah. This guy's my number three overall you're pick. Right. They got chips everywhere. They're stacking oh chips everywhere. From, you're right. From everything. I, yeah, I mean, and it makes Sh sense. No. And then Shiloh comes out. And then Shiloh comes out before <laughs> yeah. the game. He's like, I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to beat your ass. Looks I don't like mind that. I don't mind that at all. I, I, really love, don't. I love everything about it. I love Shiloh saying that. Now, granted... Have to win, yeah. You know what I mean? Like well, that's that one of those. Or keep it close. You keep it close. You have to win. I don't mind them saying that and them coming out and winning. It's like why I appreciate players and everybody that has moxie. Like if you can talk and then back it up, I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. Because the amount of pressure you put on yourself whenever you start running your mouth is huge. So for you to back it up, it's like. Hey, I like the cut of this guy's gym. Yeah. I like the way this person operates here. And it felt like that Oregon team was like, hey, welcome to the Oregon Duck Show. For everybody that's been watching, all of a sudden, in my eyes, after watching that, and I'm not somebody that can, can get swayed easily. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am right. Oh, definitely not. Nope. No hot, no like 90 second highlight film can get you hooked on anything. This one was about two minutes long. Yeah, yeah it was. It's funny yeah, you say that. It was about two spot. minutes. After seeing it, though. 
I tell you what, them ducks. These Oregon ducks <laughs> need to be right? a tough out. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what the game is. I mean, there's a chance. I, I put them in the playoff. I'm putting them in the playoff after watching what I just watched. They got the, I feel like, you know, from the two minutes that I walked. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. And I got to see in the team meeting. Yep. I got to see behind the scenes. I got to see, I was on practice. I was practicing with them. Yeah. Okay. I've seen the way they handle themselves. I like the cut of their gym. Yeah. I think the Ducks got it. They got the moxie, and they got a legit Heisman candidate uh, quarterback. Yeah. Ain't that right, Tony? Yeah, they do. The uh, Speaking of Heisman odds, uh, it goes Penix and Caleb Williams are tied, plus 380. Quinn Ewers is plus 500, and then it's Bo Nix at plus 1,000. Think about Penix. Yes. I don't even want to. I feel like us as a college, commu- college football community, and we have joined that community. Mm-hmm. We have really done it. You know, to some of these schools. <laughs> yeah. Like, think about Washington, also in the Pac-12. Yeah. Uh-huh. Panix Jr., there's three wide receivers on our team that are over uh, averaging over 100 yards a game. Three of them. Not one re- not one wide receiver. Not two wide receivers. What? Th- there's number three wide receiver mm-hmm. averaging over 100 yards a game. Panix right. has, like, 12 or 13 touchdowns. Yeah. The next guy says, like, hey, I mean, they are – Phenomenal, and their defense was going into this past weekend was only giving up like twelve points a game or something. Nobody even nope <laughs> couldn't even talk about them. I had no idea. We apologize. I want to say we were a part of this, and that's because we respect the hell out of Coach Prime. Mm-hmm. We love Colorado. That place is beautiful. Oh so my nice. god, very beautiful. Those flat irons, D. But you see him. You're doing NFL matchups, which we all watch. Everybody, yeah, yeah. it's so good. You need to watch too. I you. saw it on TV. I saw it in the oh, hotel. Man. I'm man. That's a lie. Yeah, he did he's, not. Yeah. No, I did it's in Colorado. They don't have before I went and got a, nine on. No, it was Alabama. B Dubs with you. I watched. Alabama. I watched that was Alabama. That was several weeks. Yeah, ago. that was four. That was like a month ago, pal. Doesn't matter. Still oh, to who? Yeah. To Darius. The Raiders. Yeah, they do matter. They do matter. Don't They'll continue to watch D. But you know, you get it. They rolled up. Nice stayed at that hotel. He's lucky he got to that sideline for the for the watch along. Yeah, there was a gun on the sideline of that entire yeah. thing. Well, and, and but anyways, we love Colorado. We appreciate the fact that uh, they're an incredible, you know, boost for all of football. I think you know we all fell in love with the story, and I think in doing so, we might have pissed off a lot of eighteen to twenty three year olds. Sure. That are kind of in that same conference that is dying. You know, conference is kind of over. Sure. But then there's like four. There's four Heisman candidates. You know, in one conference right now, mm-hmm. and it just so happens to be the only team we really talked about was one of them. How is that? How is that conference dying? How is exactly, that same conference is dying. I asked I that question, and then.